A Mac is not a corporate device, they will tell you. A Mac cannot work on a network the same way as a Windows computer can. And that just is not the case. So you're looking at getting into tech or you're in tech and uh, the Mac, this uh, mystery box, this box that people love or people hate, or they really despise the Mac. I mean, it's just a computer, folks. We don't have to fight about who really cares in the grand scheme of things. But anyway, you're thinking about getting into tech and you may be thinking to yourself, self, do I need to learn the Mac to actually be good at technology. When you get into tech, there's a lot of different career paths that you can take. Help desk, and desktop support, the systems engineering, systems administration, you can go into architecture, into networks. So either way, you do have to specialize your skill set towards the particular career path that you're wanting to go down. But maybe you're just maybe you're just a Windows person. You've got your own setup at home. Uh, you've learned Windows, Windows 10, Windows 11, and you're really, really good at that. And you think that may be enough and it may be enough, but then you maybe start working in a company and that company has some Mac computers and you've got no idea because the Macs can be completely different. You know, and, and knowing Windows is great and that will definitely aid in your continued career progression. Majority of the stuff that you're gonna be playing with is going to be Microsoft based, Windows based for the most part, but at the same time, it really, really does depend on the company. I mean, there are some massive companies that are all Mac. There are some companies that will not even touch the Mac. So what do I learn? Well, here is my recommendation. Let me give you a little bit of my history, my story. I was always a Windows only person. When I first got interested in computers and I got myself my first PC, I went down to my local PC store and I bought all the bits and pieces and I built it. I installed Windows 3.1 onto it. Now this is, whew, this is going on a long time. So I grew up in Windows only, just knowing the Windows product and just becoming really, really good at Windows. So then when I got my first job uh, at a computer store and I was able to build customer computers, customize them, build them. But then, but as somebody that I worked with who left that company that I was working at selling PC, selling Windows computers, and went and worked at a place that sold Apple computers, sold the Mac, they sold iPods and all this Apple sort of stuff. And for me, I'd never been exposed to this at all. And I thought, what is the point? Microsoft, they have the the most users, they are the best. Why would I even bother with Apple? But anyway, I went for an interview, I got the job, and hey, look, I've now got a job that's paying me more money, but they're not using Windows computers. So I had to learn the Mac, and it didn't take very long before I started really, really liking the Mac. I actually got a appreciation for the Mac while also still using Windows at home. Anyway, then I went and actually worked at a proper big Fortune 500 sort of company. They had a mix of Macs and they had a mix of Windows computers. Now the majority of the computers, yes, they were Windows. Probably 95% of the computers were Windows computers. So a very small fraction were Mac. And me coming in as somebody new, every other tech that I was working with, except for one, was Windows only. This other person was Mac only. So I was the only person who came in who actually had worked with both, who had an appreciation for both. And then I actually started finding my little niche, my little skill set, something that I was really, really good at was integration between the two, knowing how Windows and the Mac work together. I mean, when you work in corporate, you work with things such as Active Directory, you're working with servers, and sometimes they work for the Mac, sometimes they don't. Having a exposure to both and being able to sort of be that puzzle piece that can actually bring the two together and make them work better was a huge, huge advantage. That is why I would recommend that you learn both of them. You're gonna be somebody who has these, these rare skills of both of them. You're gonna be a much better IT professional all round than somebody who does not know the Mac. Some people just despise Apple. They think that what is the point? Why even have Apple in a corporate environment. A Mac is not a corporate device, they will tell you. A Mac cannot work on a network the same way as a Windows computer can. And that just is not the case. Years and years ago, there probably were some concerns around getting a Mac to work really, really well with Active Directory and on a domain and file sharing and permissions, but a lot of those problems are gone away. The answer, yes, I would recommend learning the Mac, but you don't need to have it. But if you've got it, you'll be at a much better advantage than everybody else. 
Oh, and if you're interested, if you wanna know more about the Mac, I do have a couple of full length training courses on the Mac, stuff that is very, very important, stuff that you'll find helpful. So do check those out in the description. So why don't you like and comment, click on the button below, subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of my videos. Thanks again, we'll talk to you next time.